how this helped me. Yeah, expose yourself to the thing you are irrationally afraid of bees in the case, and they'll become less scary. It's called exposure therapy. You know, fellas, I'm embarrassed to admit this, but I've always been irrationally afraid of really big piles of food scraps. Get lost. Lost a shot. Go on, Hugo. It ain't gonna hurt you. Doing great. A little closer. This not so bad. How does such a big dog move so fast? Adrenaline. And why does he always go straight through the fence? Adrenaline. Ah, I hate this scene! I can't scratch the rush on my neck with it on. That's why they put it on you, genius. I won't heal if I keep scratching it. Well, I wouldn't have scratched if I knew I'd have to wear this awful thing. If you knew, I explicitly warned you this would happen. Well, I didn't know this is what you meant. What else could I possibly have meant when I said, if you keep scratching it, they'll put a cone on your head? Wait, did you think I meant an ice cream cone? Why am I even asking? Of course, that's what you thought. And I will not apologize for making that assumption. You are an idiot. No, I'm an optimist. Those two labels are not mutually exclusive. It matters not the size of the dog in fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. Hey, punk! Oh, this is my dog's battle! You better walk away while you still can! You... you are joking, right? You think it's a joke, muchacho? You won't be thinking it's funny, but fuck thinking it's fun! I will mess you up! I'm gonna beat you down so bad you kids are gonna feel out of Well... The size of the dog matters a bit too. Brutus, would you care to hear a scary campfire story? Sure. Okay. Once upon a time, there were two people walking through the woods when all of a sudden they saw a ghost. Ooh! Ah, oh, then what happened? The end! Oh. Did you like it? Pretty spooky, huh? Oh yeah, especially that one part about the ghost. Parkour! 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 Parkour? Ah, that's look a bit too far, don't you think? Par Whoa! You good? Almost made it. You weren't even close. Fresh pumpkin? Don't mind if I do. <gasps> the, the pumpkin ate Randall. Huh? Uh, I mean, yes, I ate Randall. For I am a living pumpkin. Monster. Pain. Oh no! Oh yes, come close a little kitten. And I'll eat you too. The pumpkin's alive! The pumpkin's alive! Psh! Damn furball. Speed him out! What the? Spit him out right now! Randall, you're okay! Yeah? You, uh, you risk getting eaten by the pumpkin monster to save me? Well, yeah. Wow. Uh, thanks, I guess. No problem. It's what friends do. Right, Brutus? Uh, right. <laughs> How are you so big but so stinky at the same time? Live. Man. And then the mutant chipmunk monster ate them alive! Wait, how the chipmunk turned into a monster? Mmm, nuclear radiation? Are you asking? Whatever, telling scary stories is hard, okay? <laughs> Not that hard. You do one then, Mr. Scary Pants. But the screams were swallowed up by the raging blizzard hopelessly lost to the cold swirling snow, along with the poor soul they come from. The end. <laughs> that... Th that's it? Wasn't even scary. That wasn't a true story, right? 
Friday Night Football tonight, the Bears take on the... Could do without the class in my skull. Oh, sorry. Start your engines. Vroom. Hmm, this race car has a very quiet engine. Oh, it's electric. How about you do the sound effects? That was just a joke. Didn't want to get in hurt. Let's head inside now. Okay. <sighs> I'm getting too old for this. Hmm. I wonder what color Hugo's eyes are. I don't recall ever actually seeing his eyes. Hmm. Me neither. Me neither too. I guess those middle of eyes, bro, of his always keep him covered. There could be. Under there. Well, no. I'm sure he just has two normal eyes. Or maybe three normal eyes. Or three rainbow eyes. I'm gonna risk it and bet on the first one. <sighs> well, let's settle this, I guess. Stay still, please, Hugo. Oh, uh, okay. Why for? See, two normal. Oh, oh my. Well, I was half right. I was the third right. Me confused. So, Hugo, how did you lose your eye? Oh, well, when I was puppy, I wonder I was a strange building. I curious, so I go inside. Then I run into a big mama chicken, and she, she no like that I was in there. <coughs> Holy moly! So you got your eye pecked out by a chicken? That's terrible! Is that why you are so scared of birds? Yes. Well, I doubt it was pecked out. It's much more likely that the eyeball was simply punctured, just damaged enough to where it needed to be surgically removed. Seriously, dude? What? I'm just saying. Brutus, look at this cool stick I found! Cool. Yeah, didn't even look! Come on! Don't you wanna believe it? Nope. Oh, come on! No. Come on! <sighs> Jeez, Yakuda just said no! I did. Twice. Well, joke's on you. Now I got two cool sticks. You're welcome. Now, please go away. Pixie, that's you? Oh, have you seen Pixie? No, I just came to ask. Did you uh, perhaps uh, tell Lola that there is T-Rex skeleton buried in your background? Yeah, I did. So she'd go away and stop annoying me. Well, can you please tell her that you were lying? Why? She hasn't figured it out yet? Respectfully. You really are to know by now how gullible she is. She's been digging on star for the last seven hours. Oh, poor Pete Psyche, Lola. There is no skeleton. I was messing with you. Right. Let me do all the work, then trick me into living so you can steal all the glory. What? No, that's not. Nice try. But I will be the first dog in history to dig up a T-Rex skeleton. Not if I find it fast. Pixie.